stay tuned because in this episode, I'm going to be sharing five things that you should be doing right now as we are getting ready for 2023. Are you a childcare business owner? Maybe you own a small home daycare in your home. Maybe you own a bigger center. Maybe you're a site administrator and you're struggling with marketing. You've tried everything. You've tried posting in large Facebook communities. You've tried printing out flyers and passing them around in your community. And maybe you've even tried posting on Facebook and still you hear crickets. Problem is you're probably marketing your business the old school way. The way that you were taught, you know, hoping and promoting hoping that you'll print out some flyers and then parents are going to line up at your door. Well, let me tell you, friend, that's not how marketing works today. In today's world, you have to make sure you have a strong presence online. You have to make sure that you're leveraging your platforms properly, that you're investing in some paid traffic, and that you are showing up consistently being top of mind. In this podcast, I'm going to share with you online marketing strategies that are working right now in order to get you more reach, more visibility, and of course, more enrollments. So grab a piece of paper and a pen, a quiet place to listen to the episodes, and let me simplify marketing for you. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to another episode of the Child Care Business Marketing Made Easy podcast. I am your host, Christina, and I am happy and grateful that you're here. So I am recording this episode. We are mid-November, and I want to make sure that you have access to it before uh, the end of the year. So we are gearing up and we're getting ready to kind of wrap up 2022. You know, holidays are right around the corner and we want to be able to start a brand new business year, um, you know, on track, super laser focused and ready to hit the ground running and also excited, also excited, you know, to be able to start another business year um, and serve the families and do all the things that we were called to do. So how do you do that? How do you make sure you start a, a year feeling refreshed, feeling ready to tackle anything that comes your way. So in this episode, I'm going to share five things that you definitely should be focusing on um, before the end of the year. Before I do, though, I want to make sure you know that I offer 30-minute strategy calls. So what these calls are, very basic. You you choose a a time and a date that works for you. We hop on a video call, super laid back, by the way. And we talk about your marketing. So I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself, your background, your marketing, your business. And then you're going to walk away with a marketing plan on what types of things you should be doing in order to be able to get your program on the map, to be able to attract more families, and to be able to fully book your program. If you're interested in booking a strategy call, all you have to do is go to the link in my show notes and, you know, click on the the, the link and it'll take you to the application page. Now, with that being said, let's dive into today's training. So as we head into 2023, what types of things should you be focusing on as a childcare business owner um, to be able to start off, you know, 2023 on the right foot? So the first thing that you should definitely be um, revamping, if you will, is your all your paperwork. So when I say paperwork, I mean, you know, all your paperwork, your newsletters, your um, your letterheads, your policy handbooks, your staff handbooks, making sure that all your paperwork is not only um, updated, right? Because every year you have to be, you know, updating uh, your policy booklets and all that stuff, but that you can kind of freshen it up a bit, right? Revamp it. Maybe you want to change your logo. Maybe you want to change um, the template or the layout. Uh, maybe you want to make it look nicer, right? So this is the perfect time that you can kind of do a quick audit of what wasn't working or what you needed to add and then go in, add it, do the proper changes, um, get it to the printers or upload it on your website or send it off to your to your existing clients so that you can start off 2023 with you know paperwork that has been um, updated and that has been revamped the other thing that I would definitely revamp is a website so your website I do this for my business every single year towards around I think it's around October November time every single year I go through my website and you know I sometimes I change the layout um 
I change the wording, I make sure my keywords are still on point, I make sure that all the links are properly working, all my funnels, all the pages, right? Everything is working well. I do some changes, I edit the pictures, um, and really just kind of freshen it up, right? So that's another thing you, sh you should definitely be thinking about, revamping your website, making sure that, um, you know, you have all the proper pages, all the forms, and all the pop-up windows, and all that stuff that you have on your website, but that you are um, doing your thorough uh, audit of, you know, links and all your plugins and making sure that everything is working well. And obviously revamping it, making it look a little bit fresh, right? Going into another year. Um, the other thing you want to revamp uh, are your promotions, right? So maybe you're offering a promotion. So for example, maybe you're offering a, a discount or a free trial period or a free t-shirt on registration, right? It's time to kind of switch that up a bit and think, okay, what else can I offer that, you know, would be fun and enticing and that a parent or a mom and dad would actually say, yes, you know, like I'm interested in that, right? So that's another thing you can do is definitely just revamp your promotion and make sure that you obviously you do the proper edits on your website. The other thing you want to revamp are your photos and your videos, right? So this can be video, photos or videos that you have on your social media platforms. These can be photos or videos that you have on your Facebook uh, business page, but also on your website. So as a business owner, you should have professional photos done. And once a year, it's a good time to kind of get some new pictures done. Now you don't have to go crazy and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. One or two new, new pictures of yourself as a business owner, you know, is more than enough, but it's a great time of the year to kind of revamp those pictures, get a photographer in um, to snap those shots and maybe some new pictures of the setting in your childcare program, right? The classrooms, the locker area, maybe you have, you know, renovated like the backyard, for example. So it's a great time for you to revamp all your photos, but also your videos as well. And if you don't have videos, if you're not leveraging videos, well, this is a great time for you to batch record, right? So think of some promo videos or some education videos that you can record and have handy going into 2023 as content or even better to use on your business page, but also in your uh, Facebook ad campaigns. Okay. Sometimes when we are creating, you know, videos for uh, either a post or, you know, to use on a Facebook business um, uh, or to use on a, um, on an ad, you know, we kind of get nervous, we don't know what to say. But if you are not leveraging videos right now, and you have the time and you want to get into the paid the traffic game going into 2023, well, this is a great time for you to sit and think, okay, what are a few things that I can record a few short videos that I can use later on, right in the next few months, and then just record them, save them on your computer. And then when you need them, well, they'll be ready for you to use. And lastly, I would revamp any special events. So any outings and field trips that you have planned, um, I would also revamp anything that has to do with um, open houses and things that I want my community to kind of get excited about, right? Um, I would definitely start thinking ahead and think, what can I offer? What can I organize? Where can I, um, you know, network? And really just try to think of different things, different special events that you can set up or that you can participate in and kind of revamp those so that going into 2023 you have a clear schedule you know you know for the you know upcoming six months you know what's headed your way or you know you know the appointments that you have set for yourself or you know your special events or open houses or field trips so that you can plan accordingly so there you go you guys five things that I would definitely revamp going into 2023 um, if you have a marketing question you can always hop on my website child Care Business marketing.com you'll see if you scroll in the middle you'll see a little um a microphone icon you could click on that and then you record your question directly on the site and then i'll get an alert and i will answer your question in an upcoming episode have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you in a few days bye for now I hope you enjoyed this episode and if it did bless you or add some value, I would appreciate it if you go to wherever you're listening to this podcast from and leave me a review. As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace, 1 Peter 4.10. That is my intent with this podcast. I hope it blesses you and your business. See you in a few days.